This is some bark that fell off the birch tree that the porcupine ate. A few days old. Actually came from this tree. You can see it's a white birch. It's just climbing up the tree and eating the whole thing. See some older ones over there. These are some hair tracks that are right beside the hair or like rabbit, snowshoe hair. And these are the older porcupine tracks that go deeper in the snow. Porcupine trail is a hair trail at the same time. I'm going to go see where it goes. These are the older ones, newer ones, Just coming up the trails, following the tracks. I made it to a white pine that porcupine's been eating also. That's where he, he climbed up. trunk That's where it is Trail continues to another white birch This is really fresh so there's no snow on it from last night Eight there, eight there. Here's that same birch. It's really cool how the outer bark is rolled so he can eat the inner bark. My trail ends at the cedar tree. You can see there's a lot of climbing activity it's because of all the bark that shredded along the, the trunk, especially on that side but park pie is not in there so I'll try to find a dwelling for you guys looking for some more porcupine signs to show you and I just fell upon these nice chagas on a yellow birch so I'm just gonna go ahead and gather a little bit because I'm all out or almost I only have a little bit left I'm gonna use my axe, just hit that thing a little bit. Chaga is uh, Inanotus obliquus in Latin. Nice. Fell off right there. It's a nice little piece. There's some nice hair or snowshoe hair tracks here so good opportunity to show you this is what the the hair uh, the hair feces look like and he ate this little piece of aspen aspen is uh, the hair's favorite food if it fell off kind of like this fell off the tree it's also the beaver's favorite food find a nice track to show you well this is a nice one this is my hair and my hand in comparison so these are the two front legs and the two back legs so this means he's going this way because his uh, hind legs land in front of his front legs when he's walking slash running Nice trail. A lot more snowshoe hair activity here. Ate some aspen. These are aspen leaves. 
small, rounded. A little bit of urine too. Just a lot of trails. This is the original tree I filmed when I started the video. So I backtracked and the track goes over around here and then down the spruce tree and actually comes in here. So it goes around, track goes around here, comes down and into this cave right here. My thinking is the porcupine lives in there somewhere. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lives in there. Goes in like really deep. And around here, it's all this shredded bark, probably just brought back to eat. Oh, there's some feces to confirm. There it is. I gotta put in macro to get a nice clean shot, so. You guys see a uh, birch like this, that's all rolled bark. Then you got porcupines in the area. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video. See you guys on the next one, bye.